I always say if you decide to move from the West to Ghana or to any other country in Africa due to few problems, bear in mind that you are not eliminating your problems, but rather swapping them for another. The question then is, can you handle a developing world problems? Is the diaspora exodus to Ghana and Africa just a hype? I would say it depends on the individual. There are a lot of problems in Ghana and Africa that can be solved and potentially turned into a business venture. However, one will require an amount of capital, connection to influential people and exposure to be able to take advantage of these opportunities. Most of these ingredients possessed by most diasporans are scarce to an average Ghanaian or African youth, limiting their flourish in their own motherland. These reasons, coupled with poor governance, favoritism, corruption, just to mention a few, are the reasons why an African youth would decide to seek a change of destiny on a foreign land. Now, is it even worth it to leave Ghana or Africa in search of greener pastures? Again, it depends on the individual and their circumstances. From my experience, living in the West without the right documentation can set you back in life, as you require these documents to educate yourself, work, and earn money legally. However, moving to the UK in my case was worth it, but not without some sacrifices and forward thinking. You see, with the right documentation and qualification, anybody can land a fair paying job in the West. However, living in the West comes with a high living cost. My monthly rent can pay for someone's accommodation for a whole calendar year in Ghana or Africa. But remember, if you are able to make a savings equivalent to your rent, that will equate to the salary of a well-paying job in Ghana or Africa. This is where migrants like myself will need not adapt the spending habits in the West, i.e. gender reveal parties, baby showers, big weddings, just to name a few, to save more foreign currencies in a period of time, to serve as capital, to be invested later in a house or a business venture back in Ghana or Africa. Because you know what? With the exposure of living abroad and some cash, there are a lot of problems in Ghana and in Africa as a whole that a migrant like myself can solve and in turn gain financial independence to enjoy our own motherland. I would like to know your opinion about this subject. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.